This is another fantastic story. Look at this beautiful backdrop we have here. Some farm with technology that probably didn't exist around this guy's time. This is Mr. Carl Lorenz. He is a man. And this man did an experiment called the Who's Your Daddy experiment. He decided to mess with geese, which is a little bit messed up, but it's kind of interesting. And it teaches us something about behavior and innate built-in kind of behaviors and mechanisms. So what he did was he did an experiment where he took a goose and then of all the eggs that were there, he split them up into two uh, halves basically. And he allowed ones that were under his control to be kind of incubated. So he heated them up a little bit, just like when this goose is going to incubate their eggs by kind of keeping them warm and sitting on them. And when the eggs hatched, he made sure that he was the only one who was around when these little this is obviously not a baby goose this is all i could find this little goose right here hatched and guess what fell in love with this daddy oops and actually considered this to be the mother and no matter what could not shake that connection even when trying to put this particular goose back in the presence of the mother obviously the eggs that hatched around the actual mother goose followed the mother goose around and so that is the story of Carl Lorenz and the geese that followed him. And what this experiment kind of reveals is that there's a important time period that is called kind of um, the innate releasing mechanism period where we're waiting for a sign stimulus. And that sign stimulus in this case is the first thing that is actually moving around uh, when that they can actually visibly see. And in this case, that sign stimulus was the presence of this guy and these little baby geese started following him around thinking that he is their mother. So in bullet points, here's the actual guy himself, Carl Lorenz. Here's a few pictures of geese following their normal mothers. There's another nice image of Carl Lorenz, goose, blah, blah, blah. This process is called imprinting. So just a quick summary in bullet points, Lorenz took half of the eggs laid by the goose and he incubated them like we showed in that first picture. He was with them when they hatched and it was the first moving thing that they saw. And so they started following him rather than their actual mother. This is another extra bonus bullet point which deserves a little star. They actually, this is very sad as well too. As a result of this, the, I guess the science stimulus that they received also leaves an imprint on them for who they're supposed to mate with when they get older. So I don't know the story or how this, how this evidence got written up, but these geese tried to mate with humans rather than other geese. Horrible stuff. The goslings that hatched from the eggs left with the mother showed normal behavior. So lucky you guys, everything's okay. Sorry for this little buddy right here. This is your new mommy daddy. It's called imprinting. It's a period where the animal learns a response to a stimulus independent of the consequences of the behavior. Obviously that goose is not gonna do a great job with reproduction in the future because humans are just not that into reproducing with geese. At least most humans are not. So we call this an innate releasing mechanism where there's a specific type of stimulus that they must receive during a certain time period, the imprinting period. And we call that stimulus the sign stimulus. There's lots of other examples in the animal kingdom. For example, on some types of birds, the babies only respond to a particular red patch on the mom's beak or something like that. And humans have done experiments by using sticks with red patches and the, the sad birds still recognize that little red patch that there. So it's really interesting how some of this stuff is built in. But the fact that they don't have to learn this stuff and they're already born with it, as long as people are not messing with that situation, it's worked so far for them as it's helped them to survive this long and continue to pass their genes to the next generation. So imprinting, 